I, I don't say she's not beautiful, but she wasn't looking beautiful tonight. She doesn't equal me. Look at her makeup. It's terrible. Before we get started, because this is a tag video, I'm tagging Narcos and To The Nines. You guys can do this tag video. So, uh, if you guys couldn't see, uh, we are going to be doing the YouTuber tag. I was lucky enough to be tagged by Boomer Ryan. Fuck! Please make sure you guys go check out his channel. It is down in the description below. He's a really, really cool content creator and live streamer. For this tag, we have got 10 questions. I've got them pulled up here on my phone. I can't see because I'm wearing contacts. Is not this. Okay. Question number one, how long have you been YouTubing? Pretty much since it started in 2006. Actively YouTubing, like creating my own content and uploading videos. 12 April 2012, I believe. Yeah. Question number two, how many videos have you uploaded? I want to say close to 400. Right now on my channel, I have 196. I purged like a bunch of videos off my channel just because they were old live streams. They, they kind of just sit there, so I figured why waste space and let that, you know, sit there. Question number three, what's your favorite video that you've ever recorded? I would probably say uh, doing the video game tag was probably one of my favorites, or the strip down challenge. Those were really cool, just uh, strip down, you don't edit your video. There's no jump cuts, no fancy edits, or takes, or graphics, or anything, it's just you turning your camera on and then uploading the video. And uh, the video game tag, I put a lot of effort into that video and I think it was really fun uh, getting to talk about the video games that I liked and characters that I really liked and putting a spin on that. So if you guys haven't seen those, I'll link them down in the description. Question number four, who's your favorite YouTuber? I've got four. Uh, Mamrie Hart, Hannah Hart, Grace Helbig, and Psycho Soprano. They are four amazing YouTubers who've done some incredible content. Uh, they've had their own TV shows, produced their own movie, and all four of them are authors, which is pretty, pretty cool to, to think that that's something that happened because of YouTube. Question number five, pick a YouTuber to collab with. I really like Miles J. I feel like in my videos I'm really tame, but in other people's videos I'm kind of different. I feel like I spontaneously grow a personality on other people's channels, but not my own. I don't know how or why, but I feel like uh, with Miles J that we'd be able to bounce off of each other's energy and I think we could do some hilarious content. So I think uh, Miles J would be my YouTuber to collab with. Uh! Question number six, where do you see your YouTube channel in the future? And then in parentheses it says be creative. Um, Taking the wrong no, way, shit, no, she no, looked no. bad. I don't know how far in the future they're talking about, but ideally what I would say is that I would be consistent with the schedule that I've created. Also, I think that consistency is just something that I want in my future because it's something that I really, really lack with the channel. It's just a matter of finding the content and finding uh, topics to talk about. Okay, sorry about that. I changed out of my contacts because they hurt. Question seven, what's a quote or saying that you follow? I, um, one that's always stuck out, stuck out, stuck, is stuck even a word? One that's always stuck out to me is live passionately. Passion is what drives the mind, moves the heart, and satisfies the soul. And I think that's just always something that's been, um, important not only with YouTubing, but with life. Like, having a passion is kind of what, what drives you. That's why I feel like quotes about passion kind of get to me a little bit more than anything else. Question number eight, why did you start YouTubing? Because I wanted to document weight loss and then I got the bug and I decided to do everything and when I say I wanted to do everything, I mean I did everything on my channel. I did reviews, I did vlogs, I did countdown videos. My channel's become a mess but I think that's kind of what makes my channel unique to me is the fact that even though I've struggled to find my footing, it's still been a representation of who I am. It's an eclectic mess. That's horrible. I describe myself as a mess. Question number nine, what challenges have you faced while YouTubing and how have you overcome them? I think one of the biggest challenges that every YouTuber faces is doubt. I don't know why I always look off that way, by the way, because there's nothing over there except for a door and a light. I think whatever YouTuber tends to face in the very beginning is a lot of self-doubt because you don't know what kind of formula is going to work for your channel or what's going to make you sparkle and shine per se. I thought I was going to upload one video, it was going to be a hit, and then everybody was going to 
comment on it, and that's not the case. It's hardly ever the case. Sometimes you do luck out and you get that viral video. Most of the time, you don't. I think overcoming those feelings of doubt and eventually, you know, overcoming your own saboteur is... I keep forgetting to hit record. It's more or less just finding that voice inside your head that's telling you that you can't do all these things, telling it to shut the f*** up, and then going on and actually doing it. There is any conviction that keep me motivated to actually keep doing this, and then my inspiration is just knowledge, learning from the community and interacting with the community, and learning more about people is ultimately what makes me so proud to be a part of this community. <laughs> Alright, so there you guys have it. That is the YouTuber tag. Why don't we just call this creator tag? I don't think like we're actually called YouTubers anymore. Anyways, from here I am tagging to the nines and Nyarkos. Nyarkos. Why can't I even speak English today? I'm gonna sneeze. That's gonna hurt. I have a fractured rib and if I sneeze, it's like a hell on earth. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You guys know how that goes. And if you guys are returning members to the channel, always hit that bell icon because you guys want to get notified. As always, you guys can follow me over on Twitter for the latest updates. I'm on Vine, Snapchat, Instagram, and everything else that's social media related because I have no shame. Okay, bye! What I originally set out to do on YouTube. And now I feel that it's time to get back to what I originally started doing. So starting things off on Mondays, we're going to be doing...